Have you ever wanted to trisect an angle? Stick around and I'll show you one technique to do this. The problem of trisecting an angle requires us to take a given angle alpha and using classical tools, find two lines that trisect the angle into three pieces, all with an angle measure of alpha over three. It turns out that you cannot trisect a general angle using a straight edge and compass, but it might be possible if we add an extra tool. The polar curve R equals theta is called the Archimedean spiral. Let's take a look at the graph of this spiral right here. You cannot construct the Archimedean spiral using straight edge and compass. However, if we add the spiral as one of our tools, we may be able to use this tool along with the straight edge and compass to trisect the angle. We won't actually need the entire Archimedean spiral to do this, just the bit that lies between 0 and 2 pi. Let's imagine that we have the unit circle drawn like this, and that we have two points, one along the x-axis and the other one creating a line with an angle of alpha. The arc on the unit circle subtending the angle alpha has an arc length of length alpha. Now let's draw the Archimedean spiral, r equals theta. This intersects our top line at a point. Let's call the point P. Because P lies on the line created by angle alpha, it has an angle of alpha, and because it lies on the Archimedean spiral, it must create a radius of length alpha from the origin. We can then use our straight edge and compass to divide the line from the origin to the point P into three equal pieces like this. We use our compass to create this arc of radius alpha over three. It intersects the Archimedean spiral at a point Q, and because Q has a radius of alpha over three, its angle must be alpha over three. Similarly, we construct this arc of radius two alpha over three, which intersects the Archimedean spiral at a point R. Because R has a radius of two alpha over three, its angle is two alpha over three as well. And now we can finish off our problem. We connect the origin to point Q and the origin to point R. And sure enough, we have divided the angle alpha into three separate angles, all of measure alpha over three. This means that we've used the Archimedean spiral to trisect any angle alpha.